hello everyone so we have this new video in ansible series in this video we will going to cover some items like host patterns by which you can call multiple hosts based on the patterns of the host names if you missed the uh, videos or if you uh, have any questions or doubts always uh, check this repository and the youtube playlist uh, so we will see all the videos in the series in a you know, specific order just follow that and yeah you, you can learn ansible so for the host patterns we have um, inventory here so it's a bit lengthy it's a dummy inventory uh, just for the demo so we have the regular node 1 node 2 uh, then new nodes node 1 then some other labs tests etc so uh, let's say i want to execute um, this uh, playbook for uh, some specific patterns so what i can do is inside the host now you should uh, you used uh, nodes or lab or test etc so we are not going to use a playbook instead i use like ansible uh, all hyphen list uh, host so it will just list so you can use the same pattern if you put all in the playbook uh, host and all it will execute on all nodes okay just see okay if you put all it will list all the nodes okay no grouping nothing Let's say I want to execute uh, execute the job only for something with 192.168.2. Star means whatever uh, the last digit is fine. So the IP address whatever starting with 192.168.2 should be uh, covered. See, it is automatically executing or, or taking a both. Or I have something like uh, whatever uh, starting whatever ending with um, lab dot doc local something like lab dot local okay so i want to uh, execute this task on this host like star dot lab dot local uh, then we have another case let's say i want to execute this on uh, two nodes like node one and node two so what you can do is uh, either you can use a group let's say the group is not exist then we can try like uh, node one comma node two it will be very useful when you have uh, uh, playbook which you want to execute on few nodes or some nodes some groups or some patterns so something like you want to collect some information from all database servers so you can try something like um, maybe my database server is something like uh, db uh, uh, db star dot lab dot local something like that in our case maybe we have a uh, web okay let's say we try whatever the web store web star dot lab dot local i need to execute something some task so it will list exactly the one okay and one more option is there something like uh, in our uh, site.yml now okay i will remove this uh, now it's executing on the nodes maybe nodes we have uh, 10 or 100 or 1000 nodes inside the nodes group so what i am going to do i want to execute this task maybe i can clear this by default if i execute it will execute on all the tasks inside the node group named nodes okay so in our case we have a node node uh, one and node two let's say i want to execute these tasks only on node one then you have to edit the site.yml and do it right instead there is an option called limit you can use a minus uh, hyphen hyphen limit or hyphen l then i put okay only on node one I don't want to execute on all instead i just uh, customize it like uh, execute only on node one now you try it's executed only on node one you didn't change the playbook instead you just tell okay limit this playbook only on node one let's say you want to do it only for node, node two then you can tell okay limit to node two okay or something like um, limit to star dot star two something ending with the two okay so this is a host pattern it will be very useful when you want to uh, do this quick um, host changes and all and just play around and uh, create some inventory and test with the multiple patterns or ips and all okay uh, that's all for this one quick one is a it's a good uh, it's a good practice to keep these patterns and access these whenever you want to execute some uh, playbook based on the host patterns and that's it um uh, just uh, check the github repository for this one i'm already pushing this uh, so day 10 and uh, if you have any question ask in the comment box 
and um, that's all uh, thank you for watching see you next time with another video